Have you ever wondered what awaits us in the afterlife? Mulat Tazabu, a man who has deeply pondered this question, offers an intriguing perspective. Imagine a world of vibrant energy where the boundaries of life and death blur. This is the afterlife as Mulat sees it, a realm shielded by a substance akin to plasma, providing both protection and a unique form of entertainment. The deceased find themselves enveloped in this plasma-like energy, an energy that pulsates with life and endless possibilities. It creates a sense of joy and fulfillment, a dynamic force that allows individuals to engage in various activities. It's a playground of energy, a world unlike anything we could have ever imagined. In Mulat's perspective, the afterlife is a dynamic playground of energy, where the deceased find joy and fulfillment. But what if the afterlife isn't all plasma fun and games? Mulat Tazabu suggests that our perception of the afterlife can be as diverse as our experiences in life. Just as our mindset and spiritual state shape our reality, they also color our experience of the afterlife. Imagine you're carrying a heavy backpack of unresolved issues or negative emotions. In the afterlife, this burden doesn't magically disappear. Instead, it can transform the afterlife into a tormenting hell, a place where you're confronted with the consequences of your actions and the pain of your unresolved issues. But there's another side to this coin. If you've pursued spiritual growth during your lifetime, if you've sought to resolve your issues and foster positivity, your afterlife can be a completely different experience. It can become a realm of infinite possibilities and joy, a holographic world of illusions where you're free to explore, learn, and experience things beyond your wildest dreams. According to Mulat, our experience of the afterlife is a reflection of our spiritual state and mindset. So the question we need to ask ourselves is, are we carrying a backpack of unresolved issues or are we nurturing a heart full of spiritual growth? So what determines our experience in the afterlife? According to Mulat Tazabu, it's the very moment of our birth that sets the stage for what's to come. Our existence beyond the veil of death, he says, is shaped by the choices we make and the actions we take during our lifetime. Imagine life as a play. The script written at birth is ours to perform and the choices we make, the actions we take, they're all scenes we enact on the stage of life. But the final act, the afterlife, is a reflection of the play we've performed. Those who fill their lives with negativity, selfishness, and harm towards others, Mulat suggests, will find themselves in a hellish existence beyond death. It's as if they've created their own personal inferno, a realm where they're confronted with the consequences of their actions. But for those who have lived lives of love, compassion, and selflessness, the afterlife is a very different scene. They find themselves in a holographic world of illusions, a realm where they can explore their desires and dreams without limits. It's a place of infinite possibilities, a place where joy and fulfillment are the norm. In Mulat's view, our birth sets the stage for our journey in the afterlife. But what if we want to change our afterlife experience? Mulat Tazabu poses this thought-provoking question. He emphasizes the importance of seeking resurrection, a concept not limited to physical rebirth, but spiritually transcending the limitations of the afterlife. Imagine the spiritual tomb as a state of stagnation, a place where growth is halted and potential remains unfulfilled. But according to Mulat, it is possible to rise above this tomb. It starts with a journey, a journey of self-discovery, growth, and enlightenment. Self-discovery is about reflecting on the past, understanding the choices made, and learning from them. It's about seeking forgiveness not just from others, but from oneself. It's about acknowledging our flaws and choosing to grow beyond them. Growth and enlightenment, on the other hand, are about looking towards the future with wisdom gleaned from past experiences. They're about striving for personal transformation, about becoming a better version of oneself. By embracing this journey, Individuals can break the chains of the spiritual tomb. They can transcend the confines of the afterlife and experience a sense of liberation, a freedom that comes from within. For Mulat, resurrection is the key to liberation in the afterlife. What does all of this mean for us? As we delve into the depths of Mulat Tazabu's perspective on the afterlife, we unearth a profound understanding of life and death. Birth, he asserts, is not an end but a gateway, a portal leading to an alternate reality where we continue to exist, albeit in a different form. This afterlife could be a tormenting hell or a holographic world of illusions, a realm of plasma fun, 
where the boundaries of reality blur and the impossible becomes possible. The deciding factor? Our actions and choices in this life. The negativity or positivity we harbor, the harm or compassion we extend to others, the selfishness or selflessness we exhibit, all echo in the afterlife, shaping our existence beyond death. But here's the key. Stagnation is not our destiny. Mulat emphasizes the importance of seeking resurrection, of rising above the spiritual tomb. This means embarking on a journey of self-discovery, growth, and enlightenment, reflecting on our past actions, seeking forgiveness, and striving for personal transformation. In the afterlife, according to Mulat, the possibilities are endless, and it's up to each individual to shape their own destiny.